in the most recent update of the Amazing Influencers Toolkit uh, extension, that's the Google extension that I made for uh, Amazon Influencers, there is a new feature there called the Content Gap. And I've had a couple of questions from people like, one, how do I use this? And two, why does this matter? Why is it important? How is it going to make me more money? I'm going to cover both or all those questions in this video here. I'm not even going to do my normal YouTube intro. I'm just going to jump right over and show you exactly how to use that tool. Okay, so whenever we look at Amazon, first off, the Content Gap button is going to be right here on your storefront. Now, this is one of the upgraded features, the Content Gap is, of the pro plan of the extension. It's currently set at $14.99 a month. This is one of several pro plan features that you have access to. So you're going to click that button. Whenever you click that button, you can't see it right now because I've got this blurred out, but you're going to have a place where you're going to upload your last 30 days sales report from your on-site account an influencer. So you're going to go download your sales report for the last 30 days and upload it into here. By the way, it all stays local on your computer. None of that's getting shared with anything, not with me or anybody else. So it all stays in-house once you upload it to there. Now, once you do that, you're going to see this. Now, I'm going to be honest. The only reason I blurred all this out is because it's a there's several adult products in there with names that some of you may not appreciate. So I'm not trying to hide anything intentionally. I just didn't want you to have to see some of those words. Um, so what this is going to do, the content gap is going to pop up after you upload your sales data. And this is a line by line breakdown of obviously the ID, the name of the product, and how many times it appeared on your report. And these are products that are not on your storefront. They're products that you don't have any content for them yet. You're getting credit for sales for them, which we'll talk about in a second, but you don't have any content for them quite yet. That's where the gap is at, right? You're selling them, but we're not exactly sure why, but that's where this becomes so important. So we know a couple of things about this. One is it is selling. I've always said that make sure you're spending your time on products that are actually selling. If products aren't selling, you can't make any money off products that are not selling. So that solves something for us. We already know that it's selling too. We know that it's selling and you're getting credit for a lot of these despite not having any direct content made for those particular products. Now that can happen for a couple of reasons. One is they watched one of your videos about something and then went and bought this other thing just because it's related, right? It's kind of similar to whatever video they watched of yours and they didn't watch anybody else's video, right? So there could be other influencer videos on that other product, but if there were, they didn't get watched because you're getting the credit for those sales. The other part is they watched your video. This is where the content gap becomes the most important. They watched your video. They decided to buy that other product and they wanted to watch a video about it. They would have watched somebody else's video for it and maybe none existed. And that's where the content gap becomes important because it points a finger at products that probably you should not have gotten uh, credit for if there were influencer videos on that other video that were able to get watched. Now, sure, somebody might go to that product and not even bother looking at the influencer videos. They just add it straight to their cart and buy it. But take this example. I got something that sold 29 times in the last 30 days on my report. That's almost one per day. So one of two things is going on there. Either it is selling a ton and it's so related to one of my other products that I'm just getting this little bits and pieces of the crumbs of the tens of thousands that are probably selling, or I'm getting a lot of the credit here because it's selling decently and there's just not any content on it. And that's where I'm interested. That's why I'm interested in any of these lines because these are shining a light again on things that I am getting credit for, things that are selling and things that I should not probably getting credit for unless there is an opportunity on the other side where these are good selling products that just don't have other influencer videos on them yet. Because if they did, I should not be selling one per day on that. That's more than I'm selling on a lot of my products that I do have content for. So that's how you're gonna to wanna to use this tool is you're going to, once you get this breakdown, you're gonna be looking at each one of these lines. You're gonna click the ID. It's gonna open up in a new tab and you're just gonna take a look at the product and look and see, does this uh, have influencer videos on them? And if so, how many does it have? And try to figure out why am I getting so many so much credit for some of these? right? Is there an opportunity on some of these to actually make content where you can actually maybe buy the product and do a video for it? Because if you're getting that sort of like that leftover credit, even though you don't have content for it, if you find something that genuinely needs content, imagine how many more of those you're going to sell because you're now actually on there. Somebody doesn't have to watch a different video first and then go and they end up with it. They're buying that product anyways. 
And now you're going to sell more than the bits that you are already selling because it was relational. And that is the gap. It's selling and you don't have anything for it over here. You want to fill that gap with content where you can find opportunity. And that's why the content gap ends up being so important. And that's how you want to use it. So I'm going to put a link to the Amazing Influencers Toolkit Google Chrome extension for Amazon Influencers down below if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're watching it on the extension as a... Uh, a, a instructional thing you're you already got it solved but if somebody else is watching this on youtube you can go and download it for free over on google so hopefully this was helpful for you as always let me know if you have any problems and i hope this gets you a bunch more money a lot more money is probably the right phrasing we'll see you on the next video as always peace out